supplies will be coming. It's just been a bureaucratic oversight. Not yet, Gerald. <laughs> we may be living in a cell, but we have not lost civility. We mustn't let ourselves sink to the level of barbarians. No matter what happens, we must promise not to forfeit our higher selves. We, we have seen how easy it can be to sink. That is the purpose of hope, Gerald. That is what will keep our spirits from darkness. I'm Lenny Parker, and I'm a semi-working actor in Montreal, in Quebec. When I started my career, um, I was in my early 20s. I'd graduated from Concordia. I met up with a director in school, and uh, and she uh, she and I uh, she formed a company, and I was part of that company for ten years, uh, Pigeons International, which was a French English theater company. Um, so I did a lot of work with them, and then I began a, a film and TV career. Um, probably not that usual for a woman in her twenties because. I wasn't a typical looking film TV actor. So uh, I did mostly the quirky best friend. Uh, you know, I played, I played a, a, a variety of roles um, and nothing major. I was always a supporting player or, or an actor. You know, that was kind of my, as an actor, as a, a theater actor in Montreal, sometimes you, that's the way your career is going to go. And that's the way mine went. I got offered a television show in, in Toronto and uh, that uh, was was extremely uh, life changing. That was a, a lead role in a TV series, um, playing again a strange character, playing an alien who was androgynous. And I did that show for four years. So yeah, I. Uh, but I think it's my theater training that has made it has steered me in the in the film and TV career that I ended up doing. It was because of my strong theater background. One night. We were all awakened by a bang. We found Marty on the living room floor. The hunting rifle, the blood. Sean Damas uh, was definitely a, is a, a, a socially relevant, uh, you know, a topical play. Um, it's about a soldier who has just come back from Afghanistan, a Canadian soldier. So this young soldier comes back. I play his psychiatrist. He's got post-traumatic stress disorder. And uh, I have uh, compassion fatigue because I've been treating these soldiers for, for years. It's really a comment on our government and, and mental health issues and uh, the inability of the government to support these people who have something incredibly wrong with them. But it's, as they say in the play, it's not visible. It's something inside of them. The arts here in Montreal, it's a smaller pool, but there's a different kind of creativeness going on here than there is in the rest of Canada. I can honestly say that. We're, we're very influenced by Quebec, uh, by French theatre. Very, very influenced. It's, you know, for me, I've, I've been here since, well, on and off since 84, and my, my family was from Montreal West, so I spent my summers here, and I go to French theatre. We're, we're very influenced by it. It's, um, I mean, we're like the uh, bothersome, you know, younger, we're li like the younger sister. It's like, you know, can I, can I come along? But there is something, you know, by osmosis, it's coming, it's trickling down into, into our uh, culture, thank God, because it is amazing theater in French that you see, it is amazing. You know, it's not like another profession. You can't just, I can't just be an actor anymore. You know, I started out as an actor, did a bit of dance. I mean, I have, I have solid training. I can't just be an actor, I find now I'm teaching. Um, of course, I'm teaching at the Geordie Theatre School, but you know, that's sort of a natural progression to your career when you get into your 40s. Uh, as well, um, I'm doing a bit of writing. I hope I have enough courage to start directing, you know. Uh, so, so there's different things that you have to, you have to be very, uh, you have to be versatile. I'm hoping that I will continue to be versatile or to develop my versatility the older I get. <laughs>